Hey Broncos, welcome back to the December episode of Bronco TV. I'm Asher. And I'm Matt. Wait, Asher, where's your holiday sweater? <laughs> I don't I don't do holidays, Matt. I'm put this on. Okay. Act like you have some more holiday spirit, Asher. Oh. More than that. Okay, you know what? We're going to Kearns. The holiday season has arrived. To get in the spirit, some of our teachers have participated in a school run door decorating contest. Well, I wanted to get involved in the door decorating because I had done it uh, a couple years ago. I'm getting my students involved by asking all periods because, you know, even though it's during fourth period, I told students in other periods if they're willing to come before school, lunch, after school, I'll uh, make sure they partake in any prizes that are given out. I wanted to make sure for the door decorating contest that I had something that would involve all of the students. I have five classes and I had to think of something that would incorporate everybody. I decided to do door decorating this year because I am new to Ranch Bernardo High School and I think everybody here is so nice that I guess in a way it was kind of being a part of everything and it was also a way to give back for all the kindness that everybody has shown. Are you involved in school activities? If not, join PLUS. PLUS has helped people get connected on campus and find people of similar interests. PLUS is just about getting students connected so students can feel safer at school and actually like want to enjoy coming to school. The best part about being in PLUS is just helping students connect more and having them realize they're a lot more alike than they thought they were. Um, one can get involved by either just going and talking to Coach McCoy, um, he's in charge of this, so you can ask him about it, or you can just ask like one of us, like the peer leaders, um, you can just sign up or you can just sign up to like be in one, and yeah. Our RB dancers showed off all their hard work in the dance concert. Their abilities were visually stunning. The choir showed their vocal talent at the concert. Our singers got the audience into the holiday spirit. Thanks to the collaboration of the Performing Art Department, the Nutcracker delivered a spectacular performance. My favorite part about working with all of the visual arts was seeing like all of the different aspects of what everyone can do because it's bringing everything together. Because usually you just see like one at a time, but this way it's like really cool because you can see what everyone is talented in and bring it all onto one stage. I think the most difficult part was because there are so many people, it gets really hectic. So, like, and getting everyone's schedules together and like, having multiple parts that are all trying to work together and we all have different class periods for rehearsing. So it's hard to get everyone together at the same time. And there are always a bunch of people on stage. My favorite part was that I've never been in a production through the school before. So it was really cool working with everyone new and like getting to learn the experience. Yo, hey Matt, uh, what winter sports most excited for? Oh, probably um, cradle spinning, uh, the reindeer racing, and the uh, downhill toboggan sled riding. Why are you the way that you are? Dude, it's Christmas. Those are Christmassy sports. Congratulations to the phenomenal football team for making it to CIF Finals. The Blue Warriors demonstrated incredible determination and spirit throughout the entirety of the season and showed the community what it truly means to be a Bronco. Highlight of the season probably was to making it to the championship game. Uh, it's a pretty unique experience making it that far, coming off of two one and nine seasons. Uh, really, it was just just getting the players to believe that they could do it. Our goal is to get back there and finish it next year. I think we're we're bringing a lot of a lot of good players back. We're committed to getting back there and finishing it. The future is bright for the Bronco football team. As temperatures begin to drop in RB. The winter sports season is just warming up. Your Bronco athletes are taking it to the mats, fields, courts, and pool to pursue and obtain victory with honor. Be sure to come out and support them throughout the winter season. Hey Asher, did you see the new episode of Survivor Boy vs. Mother Earth? No, I don't even, is that a real show? Of course it's a real show. What channel is it on? It's on National Discovery Planet. That's, that's not even a real thing. Suburban Ranch of Bernardo is among the driest, most unforgiving terrains in the continental U.S. The absence of any large trees or rock formations means there's no shelter. This combination of exposure and lack of food and water can be deadly to some. Hello, I'm Gabe Brills, and this is a special edition episode of Survivor Boy vs. Mother Earth. 
With me today is Eve Sterwin, the world's most renowned tree wrangler. That's right, you cheeky boys and girls at home. Room has it, in these parts is the biggest, greenest, most deadly coniferous holiday tree in the entire Western Hemisphere. We're gonna catch it. Gare, yeah, gonna show you how to survive in these harsh conditions. And I, I'm gonna catch that beauty. Let's do it, mate. All right, now before I can even think about where I'm gonna sleep tonight or what I'm gonna keep myself warm with, I need to find some food. Now, there's good eating in the indigenous animals of this part, but first I need to find a weapon to hunt my prey with. This should suit my purposes perfectly. Now that I have this weapon to hunt my animals with, I can eat tonight. So I've managed to track one of the animals back to its den. I've been posted up in this tree for four days now. And I finally got in its right spot. It's nocturnal animal, so it's resting now. This is my chance. Crikey, mate! So we found shelter for tonight. We're gonna post up here. I found a snake, mate. Good job, Eve. Thanks, boy. Now, in this animal, we have to eat the intestines. It's probably the most disgusting part of the animal, but it'll give us a lot of nutrients that we need to survive the night. Yeah. Mm. Oh, oh, oh. Mm. Disgusting. Mm. Get me some of that, mate. Mm. All right, you cheeky boys and girls at home. We're out here, found some tracks of the adult. Coniferous tree. Let me get a taste of this, mate. Yep, it's a female. She's older. She's breeded. She's out looking for food right now. All right, you mates at home, chicky boys and girls. Let's go between those palm trees. We've got the adult female coniferous in her natural environment. Let's go get her. All right, mates, you cheeky boys and girls at home. We've got the adult female coniferous over there. Now she's ready for the take. What I'm gonna do, take a nice angled approach, and quietly, quiet as ever, quieter than a one will be in the forest, okay? Ah! Ah! Oh my God, I'm going to oh! ah! ah! Help me, help me, girl! He's going for the neck, he's going, oh! Ah! 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 Oh, you oh, 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 yeah. oh, oh. Alright, we finally found the tree we've been looking for. That's right, you cheeky boys and girls at home. It's been a rough Wait, Eve. What? Did you hear that? What, mate? It sounds like the cries of a baby coniferous. I can't believe it. Let's go investigate. Alright, I don't want to startle her. It looks like she wants her mum. I think we have her right here. Come here. I got you. Alright, here. Yeah, reunite them. Just lay it down Just right there. It. Yeah, perfect. Nature's beautiful in work. All oh, you cheeky boys and girls at home, we learned a very important lesson today. Tell them, Gare. We learned that this holiday season, it's more important to give than to get. I'm Gare Brills. And I'm Eve Sterling. And this has been another episode of Survivor Boy vs. Mother Earth. That's all for this week's episode of BTV. Stay warm out there, Broncos. Make sure to check us out on Facebook. And, and become, become a, a fan. fan. And have a merry seasonal holiday of your choice. And to all a good night. Yeah, I'm over this whole spirit thing.